Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about layers. Layers have always been fundamental to digital photo imaging, even since the earliest versions of Photoshop. And layers have always been part of Photo Raw too. There's actually the dedicated layers module that most of you guys probably use on a regular basis. Now the problem with layers is it hasn't really grown up and changed over the years. It works a lot like Photoshop and it has a lot of the Photoshop style limitations. The biggest one being, when you open a photo into layers, it's no longer raw. You don't have access to all that great raw information underneath it. And when you want to work on a layer, you kind of work on that layer on its own, outside of the rest of the non-destructive workflow and without the context of all the layers around it. Let me show you what I mean. I'm here in Photo Raw 2018. I'm just going to select both of these photos here and let's send them to layers. Now you notice when I do this, there's kind of a long wait. What it has to do is it has to go take that raw data. It's going to render it into a new Photoshop file. And again, it's going to take whatever you've set your processing settings to be, and now those are kind of carved in stone. You don't really have the ability to go back and change them again. Here you go. You see there's those two photos, each on their own layer. And I still have the ability to transform and manipulate and mask those together. Let's say I want to hide the sky on this upper layer so that I can see more of that darker sky, I could use something like the masking bug to make that change. And this all works pretty well until I want to go make a change to one of those layers. Let's say I want to increase and change the color in the sky. Well, in order to do that, I need to pick that upper sky layer and send it to something like develop or effects to do that. I'm just going to click on develop. Now you notice that I see the whole layer. I don't see the composite of what I'm working on. That nice light colored foreground, I can't see. So now I can make some adjustments in here. Let's say I want to maybe, I wanna warm things up a little bit in the sky and I wanna increase its color and maybe bring out the shadows a little bit. So that sky looks good to me, but I really don't know what it looks like compared with the other, but I really don't know what it looks like with the rest of the photo until I hit the done button and it goes back to layers. then I can see the composite. Well, this leads to this process of changing layers and this guess and check process of going back and forth, back and forth, trying to pick out which one I want. The other thing that happens is I've lost all that great raw processing detail. For example, there's a lot more information in that sky that I could get using the full raw data. Now, this is all gonna change in Photo Raw 2019. Layers, rather than being a separate module outside of the non-destructive workflow, is now an essential component of the raw processing workflow. You can actually combine photos together, raw or JPEG, doesn't matter what it is, work on them non-destructively, have their complete raw data, their, all their own non-destructive settings on a layer-by-layer -layer basis. Let me show you how layers will work in the future. All right, here we are with that same scenario inside of Photo Raw 2019. You'd notice that the layers panel is everywhere. I'm right now working inside of develop, but yet I see my layers. Let's do the same thing that I just did. If I come over to my tool well, you notice there's some new tools. There's the move tool where I can move and manipulate those layers inside of develop and effects. And under the masking tools, I'm just gonna grab the same masking bug that I used a second ago. I'm gonna click to blend these two layers together. There we go. Now, if you remember, what I wanted to do was lighten up the sky. Well, now all I simply do is grab the layer that the sky is on. That's the bottom layer right here. I can tell because I can turn that layer on and off and see how they blend. I could even name it so I can keep track of it. Now to manipulate it, you notice the tone and color pane is right here. I'm working on it right away. So I can simply come down here and make my adjustments to it right inside of that layered workflow. And the great part is I have all of the full non-destructive raw data in there. So when I make big changes to like exposures or shadows or highlights, I have everything that I can work with in the photos. No details are lost. Let's go make a complementary adjustment to my foreground. I'm gonna make it a little cooler and a little bit sharper. Now it goes beyond just those normal raw adjustments. Everything I can do in effects, I can do on a layer by layer basis and I have all of the same power of masking and blending that I would have in effects, but at the layer level. Just like in effects, when I click on the masking icon, I get the full masking section. So I can do things like advanced luminosity mask, and I can adjust the feather and the density and the levels, or even do a color range mask at the layer level. Same thing with those powerful blending options. I can also blend layers, not just with opacity and normal blending modes, but I can also target certain color or tonal ranges and also protect layers blending based on the highlights or the shadows of the skin. 
it's incredibly powerful what you can do. This is a total paradigm shift in the way that we're going to work with our photos. It now gives you the ability to combine raw photos together but keep them raw and gives you all of the non-destructive settings with all of the data from the very, very bottom of the photo all the way to the top. It's going to revolutionize the way that you work with your photos and we're really excited to get it in your hands very soon. Thanks for watching.